Receiver of the evening, Joey Ayala. I have a confession to make. I'm a chronic procrastinator. You name something other than homework or studying, and I have done it instead of homework and studying. Facebook, cell phones, and french fries have all been the banes of my ability to maintain good grades. And getting all of my work done, in spite of my habits, has been difficult to say the least. I'm also fairly confident in stating that many of you have had experiences similar to mine. For instance, how many of you have finally pulled your books out of your backpack only to realize that midnight came and went an hour ago. Or spent a lunch period cursing the library computer, trying to print something off of school loop that's due in the next 10 minutes. We've all had these hair-pulling moments over the last few years. But guess what? We got through it. Not only are we all still alive, but we're all sitting here today with four years of commendable accomplishments under our belts. We got our assignments turned in, we did well enough on our tests, and we're all still standing to say, yes, I'm finished with high school. Of course, the truth is that those minute, stress-inducing details of our lives have done nothing but prepare us for the futures that we have ahead of us. In the long run, it doesn't matter that we lost a few extra hours of sleep in order to study for that AP calculus test or to finish that big Spanish project. All those experiences did was build character and train us for the lives that we're going to lead from today onward. Furthermore, our reactions to those experiences were rarely planned in advance. No one planned on hours of productivity being lost each night to time spent on Facebook, but it happened, and we dealt with it. No one planned on leaving those three long essays until the very last minute possible, but it happened, and we dealt with that too. We've been able to deal with every curveball and every mishap so that we can sit here today, smiling and proud. Now, with college on the outset, We've not only learned the curriculum that our teachers have taught us, but we've also learned that going downstairs to open and stare into the refrigerator for the fifth time on a Sunday evening is only going to make things more difficult. It sounds silly, but all these experiences truly are life lessons. Everything that has happened up to this point in our lives has simply been reference material for how to succeed down the line. And believe me when I say that we will have experiences for which we have no reference material. No matter where you're going after today, you will encounter someone or something that you weren't expecting, but you'll deal with it, just like you've dealt with everything else up to this point. Be excited for that moment, because it means that you'll be able to apply the same sorts of skills that you've accrued here in an entirely new, exciting context. And be confident that you will succeed, because with the skill set that you've acquired here at Doherty Valley High School, there's absolutely no challenge or obstacle that you can't deal with and overcome. Thank you and congratulations to the Doherty Valley Class of 2010.